member of it. I'd like to address some of the comments that have been made uh, with regard to your nomination and your qualifications. The ranking Democrat on the committee has suggested that you're somehow unqualified to serve as the administrator of NASA because you've taken a number of positions that he deems controversial. If that were the standard, then anyone who has served in public life, certainly anyone who has served in the United States Senate or House of Representatives, could arguably be disqualified. Among those things that the ranking Democrat on the committee has raised are the fact that you cut a television ad or series thereof in a presidential campaign, uh, one in which there were several other Republicans running and one in which you endorsed one particular Republican, uh, one in which you uh, criticized positions taken by a sitting incumbent Republican senator who was at the time himself running for president of the United States. I, I consider wildly inappropriate this suggestion that this somehow disqualifies you. And, and, and with all due respect to my colleague, I, I cannot for the life of me understand why that would be something that would disqualify you. Um, we, we have had other presidential candidates run from the United States Senate in the past. We've had other members of the Senate criticize them. Uh, uh, Senator Nelson himself was heavily involved in, in the Hillary Clinton for President campaign. Uh, and at that same time, Hillary Clinton, as a presidential candidate, was criticizing Bernie Sanders, a member of the United States Senate from the same party. She criticized him quite aggressively. And yet I don't think, uh, I don't think Senator Nelson would have suggested that Hillary Clinton was unfit to be president as a result of the fact that she criticized a member of the United States Senate from her own party. Nor do I think it would be appropriate for us if the tables were turned and we were considering Senator Nelson to head NASA for us to raise the fact that he had supported Senator Clinton in her bid for the presidency, even though Senator Clinton attacked Senator Sanders. As to your support for the Senate Conservatives Fund, uh, your criticism of other Republican officials uh, uh, on a variety of issues, I think it's important to point out here that these are the words of a brave person who doesn't simply follow the flow. These are the words of someone who came to Washington to make a difference and to not simply do whatever everybody else told him to do. The fact that he's been willing to stand out is a reason I support this nominee, not a reason anyone should consider doubting his qualifications for that office. As to your suggestion that there is often bipartisan collusion in Congress, I could not agree more. In fact, much of what masquerades as compromise in this town is in fact collusion, and there is a difference. Compromise occurs when two or more people get together and come to a mutually agreeable solution that inures to everyone's benefit. Collusion is what happens when two or more people get together and come up with something that's good for them, that makes them look good or feel good at the moment, but harms many, many others. And I applaud you, sir, for willing to call out collusion for what it is. You've also been criticized for your refusal to vote for the so-called Gang of Eight amnesty bill in 2013. And yet this too is an indication of the fact that you're willing to be a free thinker. Not everyone has to share your view. And how on earth your position on matters of immigration policy could relate to or have any significant negative bearing on your ability to head NASA is beyond my ability to understand. Finally, we have the fact that uh, your contribution to and support of a particular United States Senate candidate should somehow tie you to anything and everything that that Senate, Senate candidate had ever previously said or might subsequently say. I simply don't know what to do with this accusation. I, this is wildly inappropriate, and I, I respectfully suggest that, uh, that my colleague withdraw that as a criticism because it is not one. I want to make very clear to my colleagues, Jim Bridenstine is one of the most heroic people I've ever known. He is a military leader. He is someone who has bravely fought and worked to defend and protect our country in a way that very few others I've ever known have done. He is exactly the kind of person you would want in your neighborhood. He is a scoutmaster and an Eagle Scout. He's trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. I cannot imagine a better person to head this or any other agency. Thank you. I see my time's expired.
Thank you, Senator Lee.